Well, Mike, the new school year is just around the corner, but with all of Southeast Alabama counties in the very high risk category for the spread of COVID-19, area school districts are looking at how they plan to deal with COVID during the 2021-22 school year. WDHN's Alex Valdez met with Houston County School Superintendent, who is proud of the COVID vaccination rate within his school district and is not expecting the mandatory return of masks as he coordinates his plans with others. Superintendent of Houston County School District Brandy White says they will have meetings this week to set the best plan for teachers and students when it comes to COVID. But White says when you take into account the numbers, the district is on the right path. We had over 50% that were vaccinated, which is much higher than the general population in Alabama, uh, as well as you take into account those people that did have COVID. White says the district as of right now does not believe they'll have to go back to require mask and virtual learning despite recent surges and with a recent bill passed the district cannot require teachers or students to be vaccinated against COVID-19. If we have a different protocol uh, for those that are vaccinated rather than those that don't we have to find a way of, of knowing who's vaccinated and who's not. White tells me it is the district's goal to get parents and students as close to a normal school year as possible. He says at this time he believes the district is on the right track. Representative Paul Lee says the ban on passport vaccinations prevents state and local entities from asking for proof someone has had their COVID-19 shot. This includes school districts. What this does, it prevents there to be any additional vaccine such as the COVID vaccine to be able to do business. White tells WDHN parents and guardians should know the protocols for the upcoming school year fairly soon. I think our students and our parents are ready to get back to normal. Uh, again, we know that we may have to take some minor precautions, but we're hoping that those are minimal. In Houston County, Alex Valdez, WDHN News for the Wiregrass.